Lucas Media. So I just heard Ricky Smiley's rant about Kamala Harris. And uh, this is why Malcolm X warned people to not to listen to celebrities when it came to politics. And the older I get, the more and more I understand why Michael Jordan stayed out of it. Honestly. I'm going to play this audio for y'all. And I'm going to come back with my thoughts. Uh, I'm just sick of the black people on the internet talking about I'm not with her. Okay, so if you're not with her, that means you with Trump. And y'all need to block every last one of their asses on Facebook and on Instagram and social media and stop. Like, that's just, that's just garbage. Yeah. It's just yeah. garbage. Can Everybody we be united on anything? And, and, yeah. yeah, yeah, can't be, like, can't agree on a damn uh, bucket of chicken. One person want a hot dog. I always complain. Black folks get on my damn nerves, man. <laughs> what you, why everybody making all, all these celebrities, making all these videos, going off on Kamala Harris and stuff, and then the black men, Kamala Harris didn't prosecute you and, and treated you bad in court. I got treated bad in court, too. But I'm with her. Because a, a vote for her, uh, uh, if you sit at home and you don't support her, you're, su you, you're definitely supporting Donald Trump, you can vote for who you want to, but don't be trying to encourage other people and sit up there and put bad stuff. Where's that same energy for Donald Trump? Now, if you notice, if you notice, he, he starts out with the same old triggers. Uh, oh, a vote for her is not a vote for Trump. Not the fact that you can't vote independent, you know, because I thought that that's what an election meant. But he started out with that. That's supposed to be a trigger emotional response. And then he said that, you know, black people, you know, a lot of people, we don't ever agree on nothing, which that is, that is true. But that was by design. A lot of it by the by the party that you're talking about, uh, Ricky Smiley. But but I digress. So he he goes on to talk about how you know we we all we're criticizing her and talking about what she did and and we don't know what she's actually done. Basically, we don't know what she's really done. We're just going off and he say she say, and the fact that we should be banned the block because we're not standing with her. And he talked about how I'm with her and and basically we need to vote for kamala harris not because of her policies because if you go to her website and if i'm wrong tell me i'm wrong i'm on kamalaharris.com right now i don't see anything on here about policies i don't see nothing it is talk about meeting them take action event stores i don't see nothing about no policies what are you gonna do for us what are you gonna do for black people what are you gonna do for black education you know what are you gonna do for that how are you gonna do something to keep to keep these young boys off the streets or you or you not doing nothing, uh, just for black people like you said before and then as far as the, the ricky she was a prosecutor in san francisco we yeah we want to know what she did and i seen mcmill put that tweet out talking about he want to have a conversation with her meek she not gonna have a conversation with you bro she don't even like y'all she don't listen to y'all she only needs y'all every four years every four years had quavo at that rally she probably never heard a song of quavo's didn't she say she listened to tupac in college in the 80s and snoop dogg at an hbcu but ricky as a black people we got a right man listen we are sick and tired we are sick and tired of being cut with the same old jig every four years. People starting to wake up. And a lot of people, even older people like yourself, see, that's something that my father said, oh, we vote Democrat just because. Why? What about policies? What about policies? And I'm not saying you should vote for the other side either, but you should pull your vote and make them re actually respect your vote. Y'all just throwing it in. And again, I'm on her website right now. I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing about no policies. She went up there and gave a feel good. Yeah. One of them speeches, but what that got to do? How's that gonna help with inflation right now? You know, y'all can't even get a gallon of milk for f damn near five dollars. What's gonna help with that? I got multiple kids. What y'all gonna do for that? What y'all gonna do with these high student loans? And this is it's a thing that bothers me too. So let me get this straight, Ricky. And this for everybody who who's saying what he's saying. And I like him, so you know it ain't nothing personal. But you telling me we should support her because we black, but you will skip over a black person and go to another person who is non-black who owns their hair store who owns that uh that wing spot in your neighborhood you'll skip over a black grocery store and go to the man down the street who won't even give you nothing on credit just because they're not black y'all heard that term the white man ice is always colder i'm sorry but now you want to be black on this you can't be black on nothing else but now we need to be black on this no 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 we want to know what's going to happen we didn't been through this we didn't been through this in 2008 and 2012 and yet you know I remember when Obama got elected, you know, you had people outside and, and it was a historical thing to see. But what actually changed for black people? Because in 2020, after four years after his last election, we was out there marching, talking about equal rights and what happened to George Floyd. So I don't I don't want to see a, a random yeah, on paper, on paper. Sure. If you want your daughter to be like uh, Kamala or whatever or Kamala, I'm tripping Kamala. If you want her to be like that, 
Sure. On paper, sure. Absolutely. But we just going to vote for her blindly when she has nothing about what she's going to do. Nothing. Nothing. When marijuana is still illegal around this country, it makes, it makes absolutely no sense because certain a lot of states got them, but it's federally, federally illegal. What are you going to do about that? Like I said, high student loans, high interest rates. How you what you gonna do to the to, to, to help with these borders to bring jobs back to America when you got company them like General Motors and all the other jumping ship and going to other places? Quaker Oats just closed. Quaker Oats just closed in Illinois and going to Vietnam. What you gonna what y'all gonna do to keep these companies to entice to stay here in the country? These are the things that we that, that we're starting to want because listen. To see you in office, but you still going home on Section 8 and you worried about what, how you're going to pay your light bill. It don't matter who in office at that point. So we tired of this. A lot of us are tired of this feel good, you know, a pat on the back thing. No, we want to know about actual policies. So I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.